G'day, I'm Farmer Dave, one of the hosts of Eka Nights program, and today I'm with Eka TV to show you how I get around my day. Now, first thing, of course, coffee. That's the way I kick off my Eka. All right, now, there are many reasons that you come to the Eka, one of which is to, um, well, update your hairstyle. So, Lennon, what do you reckon? We could rock the, we could rock the side ponytail. I love it. Yeah, very handsome. Brothers from another mother. <laughs> oh my God, I love this dog. Oh my God, I love this dog. I think the feeling is neutral. <laughs> Usually they say, what dog have you got? And they give you that dog. But I've got 29 dogs. So, <laughs> load me up. <laughs> love it. Oh, kangaroo. Yes, kangaroo. Make them jump better, move quicker. Absolutely. Now it's definitely worth getting off the beaten track and coming out to the horse tables, just getting to meet and greet all of these guys that really put so much work into making their horses look as good as they can. Oh my goodness. Perfect production line. Now there is a skill to this. The skill is when you leave the pickup place, Take three steps and consume the strawberry on top, otherwise it's gone. Now once you get your Sunday, last thing you want to do is lose it when you're getting around, so find yourself a good seat, check out the wood chop. Where I always end the Eka is the animal nursery. A, gets me to um, cuddle a lamb, but also it is what the Eka is all about. It's bringing the farm to the heart of the city. And uh, there is no better way to end my Eka adventure than in the farmyard animal nursery. Now there are two days left, so if you haven't been to the Eka, get on down here. If you've already been, get on back because, uh, well, there are still a few Dagwood dogs to eat, a few strawberry sundaes to drop your strawberry off and shove in your face, and of course, a few more awesome Eka Night shows where I'll see you right out.